I play Brooke Holton, although uh, on a couple takes I said Brooke Horton. Apparently Horton hears who. I'm not quite sure what was happening there. Brain dead. But I play Brooke Holton. And um, I'm a very successful woman of Holton Industries. And I uh, don't have much time for my two children, which is unfortunate. And um, a horrible tragedy occurs and I end up destroying myself in the process. And I end up getting kidnapped for ransom. And it's kind of all about uh, my journey with my friend, with my friend Will, being played by you know who. And so, uh, what attracted you to doing this uh, project? You know, um, literally at the time that I uh, that I read the script, I was going through a bit of a transformation myself and um, trying to uh, trying to get back on my feet from uh, some uh, personal tragedy and whatnot, and um, it just rang really resonated with me in the sense of um, this is a woman uh, under transformation and um, being grateful um, and just appreciating what she has every day and I and I was going through that pretty much at the same exact time uh, being grateful for what I have and getting back on my feet and appreciating my children and and uh, focusing on them instead of focusing on Myself and my own grief. It was, uh, it was, it was, um, it was part of the wake-up call for me. It was pretty, it was pretty amazing. And uh, want to talk a little bit about working with Barbara and some of the other uh, casting crew? No, I'm sorry, can't do that. I'm under a gag order. <laughs> it's in my contract. Bar Barbara, I met Barbara back in LA uh, a few weeks prior to shooting, and um, with uh, Elaine and uh, Jeffrey Udell and. Um, she was just uh, such a sweet, calm, quiet woman who ended up showing me her book of uh, the vision that she had for this. And it was just stunning. It was beautiful. It was the type of uh, uh, art that I love and, and appreciate. And I just thought, wow, this is amazing. And she told me the sweetest story that when she was a young woman in Germany, she saw a movie called Mystery Date, and she, which I was in with Ethan Hawke. I was 21 years old. and. Uh, and she saw that and decided that this was what she wanted to do. She, uh, I was an inspiration for her, and which started, which made me cry, it made me feel old, but it, <laughs> it made me cry. It was very sweet, very sweet of her. And then on set, she's just proven to be an incredible, um, an incredible, incredible comrade, an incredible uh, support, and um, just really someone who, who cares and, and and is warm and takes care of you and and. Um, gets it, and uh, she's she's. Uh, this is, I mean, for me, rarely do I make friends for life on set. You know, I, I come away after 26 years. I think I've come away with maybe two or three people that I've I've kept in contact, and uh, and I think Barb is someone like that that you know that I would keep in contact with for a while. Not that Luke guy. He's <laughs> weird. Weird. Oh. Um, but uh, yeah, she's and then. Um, you know the cast. This has been this has been really kind of like guerrilla filmmaking. It's been you know we kind of all pitch in and and do this job and that job and you know even as actors we've kind of uh, you know said well I'll you know I'll reset this and take care of our props and you know make sure that our wardrobe is right and and uh, you know we all kind of pitch in and and, and take care and it's been uh, the crew's been awesome the. Um, the cast has been just stellar in the sense of we just kind of do what we're told and, and, and jump in and do it. It's been flipping 25 degrees a couple of nights here and we're doing stunts and physical activity. <laughs> we're on day 15 I think we're on and it's just... We're men! We're manly men now!